Hello, husband. Mira, what do you want? Oh, it's been a long time. Look what you've done. Started another war, gotten into trouble with angry aliens, blown up cities without me. I am so disappointed. Rainer and I have this under control. And no, you do not. You need my mercenaries. Come with me, and I will help you. <sighs> I only could really use more numbers. I'm waiting. Ever the odd couple, Mira Han and Admiral Matt Horner combine the explosive power of reckless mercenaries with the military precision of the Dominion Air Fleet. Between the two of them, they'll achieve almost anything, except for marital harmony. No time for romance, husband. Enemies are on the way. Mira Han brings a number of high-speed units to the table that deal a lot of explosive burst damage, though they are fragile. Fortunately, her salvage ability lets her and her ally recover a portion of a friendly unit's total cost after it's destroyed. Han can also strategically upgrade her forces, granting them powerful bonuses. Some of these have effects that will trigger when they die, because what's the point of being a mercenary if you can't be as ruthless as possible? Han remains close to the action by watching the battle unfold from any of her starports, mobile production structures that provide reinforcements. They can be upgraded to manufacture automated drone fighters for extra offensive power. Lastly, Han has two top bar abilities. The magnetic mines are best for protecting her base or setting up traps on the battlefield. If things get really messy, she can use space platform reallocation to teleport a station into her enemies, destroying it and everything in its radius. I guess our long, sordid history is good for something, Mira. As Mira's better half, Admiral Horner retains a force of elite units that he commands from his Dominion starport, which is available from the start of the mission. Once Horner's personnel are ready to go, they can be called down instantly to support your forces. Horner can also build bomber platforms, allowing him to command precision strikes against the enemy. These will deal bonus damage to structures, and they can be used often from his top bar. Precision strikes are particularly effective when paired with Horner's Ravens, which have advanced radar systems. Call in the Fleet is Horner's second top bar ability, and it summons the Admiral's many ships to fire rapidly on the battlefield to devastating effect. Opposites attract, and this has never been more true than with Han and Horner, two commanders with vastly different styles that can still work together perfectly. Give them some love, and they might just give you the greatest victory in the galaxy. And so the fun begins. Maybe for you.